Uh, and Mr. Chairman, this is not, not a new amendment. This is the amendment that uh, we've adopted four years in a row, the first two years uh, by, when Mr. Nunnally offered it, God rest his soul, and the last two years when I offered it. it what it does, it, it, uh, it applies the Smith Amendment provisions that bar the use of federal funds to administer plans uh, that cover abortion, and it applies them to the multi-state plans that are administered by uh, OPM through the, through the Affordable Care Act exchanges. So uh, again, through some, um, I won't say loophole, but it is a loophole, there actually is federal funding for abortion and administration of abortion services going on, and it is through these multi-state plans that are carried on the Affordable Care Act exchanges. There aren't many in the country. As, I, as far as I know, there are only four right now, but it's an increasing number, and uh, this amendment uh, aims to just say that we will not use federal taxpayer funds to either pay for abortion or the administration of uh, plans, just like in the FEHBP under the Smith Amendment, uh, plans that actually cover, uh, where we cover the administrative costs for the plans. So I move the amendment.